You're listening to an excerpt from the latest character analysis podcast, where we talk about pop culture, true crime, and human behavior. To listen to the full episode, go to my Substack at characteranalysis.substack.com. For more free content, you can follow me on TikTok and Instagram at My Character Analysis, as well as on YouTube at My Character Analysis. All the links are in the episode description. Now let's talk about Papa Rogers for a second. I haven't really, I, I haven't given a lot of time to Papa Rogers just because I don't, I, I never believed it was Coburger. Um, people always say, well, how did they know that the sheath was left behind? Because poli- uh, reports came out w- immediately within like 48 hours that they were, that, that they, they were looking for a K-bar knife. And it makes sense that someone would say, well, they probably knew that because the sheath was left behind. So anybody could have known that. Anybody could have guessed that. What I can't get past is the picture. (laughs) Because there's no way that was a coincidence. That picture on the profile of the Russian soldier, (laughs) it's identical. Maybe not identical, but... As soon as we saw what Koberger looked like and we saw Papa Rogers, I mean, everybody was like, oh, my God. You know, everybody assumed that's that's Brian Koberger. Now, here's 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 something, a theory, I guess, that is has I've been toying with the last couple of weeks because it really just occurred to me. What if. The Papa Rogers page was somebody in law enforcement. And they used that photo that looks so similar to Koberger to mess with him. Because we've talked before about Dr. Gary Bricado. He he's a clinical psychologist and he gave an incredible profile of who he believed the suspect was before anybody was arrested. And one of the things he said was that he believed the suspect would be online on social media talking about the case. So could law enforcement have created this page as sort of a honeypot? You know, a honeypot is it's basically something set up to, to trap somebody online. <clears throat> could they have been trying to mess with him to see if he'd reach out to them to be like, you know, how do you know so much or whatever, anything, any, like about the photo, anything. Anything.